Well, following accusations of sexual harassment over at the state capitol, legislative leaders have now issued some brand new guidelines tonight that they believe will end this practice. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, breaks it all down for us tonight. And this new policy outlines how these sexual harassment complaints are taken and how the investigation is to be conducted. Still, there's a lot of a doubt out there whether or not this will be effective. Even the governor says it might not be enough. More should be done. More can be done. Governor Doug Ducey making a strong statement against sexual harassment this morning amid a growing number of accusations that have taken down powerful men in the media as well as Hollywood. The issue also hitting close to home after a state lawmaker recently claimed she'd been victimized at the Capitol. I, for one, with uh, the revelations that we've seen over the, the last several weeks, would say in, in this setting uh, for, with certainty that yes, more can be done. Following the allegations made by Representative Michelle Ugenti Rita, House leaders outlined new steps this morning to investigate and curb sexual harassment at the Capitol. My understanding is the policy actually is a good one and it works when it's implemented. But I think there's the rub, it's gotta be used. State Representative Rebecca Rios questioned whether or not the changes will actually work because of the nature of the state legislature. As the legislature is a very unique setting, and if the next speaker comes in and decides that the complaint doesn't warrant an investigation, that's where it stops. As for that original complaint, Eugenti Rita never mentioned specific names, and the governor would not say if a further investigation was warranted. In the newsroom, I'm Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.